Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Glad that you can join me again today for another very, very special project. And I'm going to show you uh, what it's going to look like. It's just going to be a different color. I have an example here. This is what we're going to be doing today. So if you can see this here. Now this is light pink, silver and black. So this is what we're going to be doing today. We're going to do one similar, but the colors that I've chosen for this project is going to be uh, turquoise, or if you want to call it aqua, it's going to be turquoise, silver, and black. So let's get started because it's a long project. There's a lot of pieces that has to be put on. So I made it a point of doing my base like I always do. And as you know, I always use my template for the 24 lines and I go behind and then I do the 24 lines, of course, as usual. And then I take the bigger skews, smaller skews, and I glue them all, all 24 of them. So in today's project, we're going to be using uh, the large acrylic gems. So I got the transparent one and I got the turquoise one. And then I'm going to be using, of course, uh, turquoise um, rhinestone mesh. We're going to be using that. Of course, the mirror, as I've shown it to you here. And then you can use either or. So you could use this famous plate that I use, oh, I usually use most of my decors, and then you have your poster board. So you could use all the pieces with that. And then I have the, whoops, the rhinestone, we're going to be using that. Uh, the diamond shapes, which I'm going to be showing you how to do. I think I've shown it to you in one of my previous videos, but I'll do it again today. And then, of course, you have your bamboo skews. Now, you can either use the whole 24 of these, or if you want to use bigger bamboo skews, I kind of like that now. I'm getting used to it now with the bigger. I use 12 bigger ones, and I use small, uh, the smaller ones for the 12. So, and then my pieces as a... Uh, oh, what else am I going to be using? Oh yes, and I have the oval shaped turquoise, which you're going to see I have lots of pieces of that I'm going to be doing. And then right in the middle, it's going to be a sunflower, and it's going to be a rhinestone. So I'm going to be doing that all around. And then, of course, I have your glue gun, your glue sticks, and the measurements that I have here is nine and a half with the big ones, and I have six and a half for the small ones. So basically, this is what I'm going to be doing today. What else am I missing? Um, okay, so now I'm just going to show you how I do my diamond shape. So you, it's up to you how you want to do this. So you could do it with the poster board or you want to do it with the platter. So I chose these ones here with the platter. And then you take your poster board. So what I do is I just glue it right smack in the middle and what I usually do is I take crazy glue for this because if you use the hot glue it just makes bumps and it doesn't come out very very nice. I don't know why but that's just the way it is. So basically I just go like this. See that? And then basically I'll just go with the just side to side and I push it down like this. That's it. That's all I do. And see that? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue the rhinestone to make it look like this. See this is what they look like and they turn out very nice. Now I have to tell you it's a lot of work because in this project, there's 24 of them. So I have 12 of this here. You'll see the difference. 
So basically these are black on the bottom and these are silver. You see that? So 12 of them is going to be on top and the other 12 is going to be on the smaller ones. So you will see that as we go along. But I just want to show you how I glue the rhinestone mesh. Now I know I have one somewhere here. So what you have to do is you have to put just a little glue uh, starting from the top and go all the way to the side like this. Just a little. Just very, very, very little. Because if you put too much, it's not going to be very nice. And like this. Now, of course, there's always excessive glue. So now I'm just going to keep on going. this. So what I usually do is I usually cut it from the top and then I start back over on the side. So I go again on the side like this. Now make sure that you don't have the shakes because if you have the shake you have to have good hand coordination. I have to tell you for all these small little pieces because sometimes it's going to come out crooked if your hands are, are, are moving. I <laughs> just want to let you know that. Okay, so here we have it. Sometimes you just have to play with it and make sure that you get it right at the, at the corner there. It's not exactly straight, but I'll fix that later. I just wanted to show you what it looks like, basically. See that? So basically, you just have to go to, according to the diamond shape, and you'll be fine. Just practice and it just gets easier and easier every time if you're into this kind of project so without further ado we will get started so now uh first things first is i'm going to decorate this with the rhinestone mesh and the sunflower so that's very important and what i did is i cut the rhinestone mesh three and three and three and three so very easy it's three little pieces because I find that that's the easiest thing and then I put a rind uh, sunflower mesh in the middle like this so I will go all around and I'm just going to show you right at the beginning what it looks like So basically on these mirrors, it's actually nice and easy because um, your three pieces, it falls right on the edge here and it falls right on the edge here. So it comes out really, really nice with the mirror because they have little edges on both sides, so which is fabulous. I don't know why I put it crooked, but anyway. Okay, and then after that, what I do is I just put the sunflower mesh right beside it just make sure that it's not slanted that it's right in the middle that's very important because if it's slanted it's not going to look very very nice see 
So now I'm going to do this all around and I'll see you when I'm done. All right, everyone, welcome back. So here's what it looks like. So you go all around and it doesn't take very long. It takes me about five minutes. And that's basically what it looks like. So now I'm going to show you the next step is I'm going to do a large skew and I'm going to do a small skew just to give you an example. So what I chose to do is I'm going to do the black on the small one and it's going to be the silver on the big one. So basically what we do is on the big skew, you want to put it right at the edge. Now I put the glue, of course, and you don't want to see your skew, bamboo skew at the end. And you want to make sure that it's uh, leveled because you don't want it to be crooked, of course, when you sell something, you want it to be absolutely straight. And then, uh, this one, I'm going to put the large acrylic bead here. And then I'm going to put another large one at the edge. Like this. And then, on uh, my large one is going to be so the large acrylic gem I'm going to put right smack in the middle basically like this and then I'm going to put my small green ones oval shape just maybe on the outskirts of that this make sure and then the other one is a little tricky so what you have to do is you want to make sure that it levels out so you put the sunflower right at the edge of the mirror and then you put your um, diamond shape and you make sure your points are pointed at the bamboo skew. Very important. You want it to be straight. And then you put another sunflower right at the edge. Like this. And then you take your green, your turquoise uh, bead and you're going to put it right at the edge of the small skew. And basically, this is what it looks like. I'm going to show you. That darn glue, I tell you. So basically, this is what it looks like right at the bottom. You see that? Turned out very, very cute. So what I'm going to be doing now, you see that from close. So now what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be doing that all around. Uh, it is a little time-consuming, 
but you know what it goes really really fast and it comes out to be a beautiful project so I'm going to be doing that all around and I will see you at the end of that all right everybody welcome back so I did this um, now it takes about I would say at least an hour to put all your beads slowly now I didn't measure because I had done one previous and basically it's really really easy because you make sure your skew is hiding behind the diamond shape and your gems is right at the edge and at the edge here so basically you're just the big uh, silver um, the acrylic transparent bead it goes right smack in the middle between these two and then you put the um, the oval shape turquoise ones and then this one here you put the sunflower at the, at the end then you glue your diamond shape and then you put another sunflower and of course you put your large um, turquoise bead right at the edge so when you do that all around and the same thing I did the um, the light pink one and basically comes up to the same thing so it I would say if all your pieces are all done in advance it takes you about an hour, an hour and a half tops. Um, me right now, just this video, I think it took me maybe an hour and um, an hour and 10 minutes. So it doesn't take very, very, very long. And I forgot to mention that the bamboo skews that I paint is with the acrylic paint, black. So I paint them all in advance and then I let them dry overnight. And then basically this is what it looks like. So I will show you that to you. And it's kind of, kind of nice with these mirrors because they already have a hook in the back. So you could just hang it up and it's very light. It, it might weigh maybe about, oh my God, two pounds, not even. It's very, 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 very light. So see, this is what it turns out to. This is the turquoise silver. So what I did is my pieces, I took the black base on the top and then I put the silver base on the bottom and I put all my beads all around so basically this is what it looks like see turned out very 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 nice see that turned out very very nice now of course there's a lot there's a lot of excessive glue so you have to clean that up afterwards but overall it turned out very 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 nice and it measures I have to tell you it measures at uh, when I post something on Facebook or my video I always let them know what it measures okay so this measures at 29 inches yeah, so it's 29 inches. It's pretty big. Now you can make it smaller, like I said. Some they prefer smaller ones, and you just put less beads. So I hope you enjoyed this project. And if you did, please like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that icon bell. And I try to do videos every two weeks. So I will see you on my next DIY. Thank you everyone for joining me today and have yourself a great day. Bye for now.